Streak Talk! Yeah! Welcome to Streak Talk. I am your host, Jason, and this is for Tuesday, December the 2nd. Sorry I didn't have a video for you guys on the first of the month. You know, I always like to get the first of the month started out on the right foot. Put out a couple videos. I had a little bit of a software issue, so I could not get the video uploaded. Hopefully, you survived the day without me. I know there was, uh, let's see, there was an 88 percentage red, a 98 percentage red, a 86, and a 96. So there were some high uh, sheep reds out there. There were a couple uh, high sheep greens as well. But like I said, hopefully, you navigated the day. Didn't get too greedy like I did. And blow it but we turn our attention to December 2nd and hopefully we have a very easy green here and it's gonna be the college football playoff who's gonna be ranked higher by the committee TCU versus Ohio State now the first three are pretty much settled we're talking Oregon Alabama and Florida State in no particular order the fourth is up for debate it's gonna come down to basically three teams Baylor TCU Ohio State but even if TCU doesn't make it in that fourth spot or Ohio State doesn't make it in the fourth spot, who's going to be ranked higher between those two teams? So if Baylor slides in there, it's still going to be who's going to be ranked higher. Well, just looking at the rankings, TCU is ranked fifth, Ohio State sixth, so pretty even there. RPI, TCU 39th, uh, Ohio State 47th. So a little bit of a difference there. And the three computer models... Now, granted, they're not taking computer rankings into account because, remember, this is just the committee choosing by their own various clandestine criteria, right? But still, the three computer models at least give us a good indication of which team is going to be ranked uh, better. And that's one reason is because those computer models take into strength of schedule, take into account strength of schedule. In all three models... Uh, TCU ranked higher, sometimes much higher than Ohio State. Versus the current top 25, TCU 2-1, and one, Ohio State 1-0. and oh. Here is where I think this becomes an easy green. I think it goes back to the Michigan game when JT Barrett goes down with the leg injury. Now, who are they calling on? They're calling on Cardale Jones. He of only 11 career completions to come in and try and win the Big Ten championship game versus Wisconsin. What does Vegas think? Wisconsin, a four-point favorite over Ohio State. So Vegas is already saying, I mean, it's a neutral field, so it's not like it's in Wisconsin. So Vegas is already saying, hey, we really think Wisconsin's going to get the job done. If he comes in and plays well, maybe next week we're having a different discussion. But I want to hearken back to the beginning of the year. Heisman candidate Braxton Miller goes down. JT Barrett sort of has to come in on the fly and face first team he faces was Navy. Now, granted, Ohio State wins this game, but if you remember, they were down at halftime. They were losing to Navy at halftime. The second game they played, sort of where the, I'm not belittling Navy here, but more of a stiffer competition in the horseshoe versus Virginia Tech, they outright lose by double digits. JT Barrett's numbers for those games, 9 for 29, 1 touchdown, 3 interceptions. What does that have to do with this? Well, I think the committee is going to take into account, hey, we don't know what we're getting with this Cardale Jones. If it's any indication, I mean, at this point, he's the third string quarterback. He's not even the second string. We started out with Braxton Miller, now JT Barrett, who, yes, eventually flourished, but it took more than a week, as I just mentioned. And we're probably going to see the same sort of result for Cardale Jones. It's probably going to take more of a, than one week to come in and set the world on fire. So I think the committee has an easy choice here of putting TCU ahead of Ohio State. So that's, that's going to be my uh, choice for the green. TCU gets ranked higher. Hopefully it's not a sheep slaughter like some of the first day's uh, results came. But I think with that injury... It's going to be a wait-and-see approach for the committee. So for me, TCU gets ranked higher than Ohio State. Horn Frogs for the green. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you next time on Street Talk.